This film demonstrates the effect of regulates on blood. Regulates are new fermentation products which have been developed by Dr. Niedermeyer Farmer. The manufacturing process has been patented as cascade fermentation. A patient's blood immediately after withdrawal. When it is placed under the dark field microscope, no irregularities can be observed. The red and white blood corpuscles, which can be seen here as large, bright circles, are moving normally. The small, pulsating white dots are the symbionts. Scientists regard these cells, which are present in all living creatures, as the prototypes of bacilli, which represent the basic energy of life. These bacilli are only visible under the dark field microscope. After 24 hours, the appearance of the blood changes. The red blood corpuscles shrink and form Burr cells. This is a result of the natural degenerative process of the blood on the slide. What is pathogenic, however, is the appearance of the worm-like growths which emerge from the red and white blood corpuscles. This symptom is an indication of a degenerative process which leads to loss of vitality and illness According to Professor Gunther Enderlein, this represents a pathological development of the symbionts into bacteria, viruses and fungal infections. During their negative development stage, the symbionts join together and develop into pathological worm-like bacteria, known as Leptotrichia buccalis. This bacterium produces toxins within the cell which place a heavy burden on the immune system and the organism as a whole. This is an internal preliminary stage which develops into mold fungi which are responsible for the disintegration of the organism. This degeneration occurs as a result of environmental pollution, toxins, hyperacidity, stress, adulterated food and other factors. This means that changes in the external environment result in a visible change in the blood environment. Under the microscope, we can now see the regulate magnified 100 times. In regulates, it has been possible for the first time to develop these prototype bacilli of life in a pure and highly concentrated form. The key to life lies in the symbionts. They store the entire development of the evolution of life and transfer it in the form of stimuli to the cell system. Here we can see the same thing magnified 1600 times. All communication within the cell depends on healthy symbiont activity. The immune system is also activated by the symbionts. Here you see the blood of a patient to which regulate has been added. Its pH value was previously modified by dialysis to match that of the blood plasma. This picture shows the deformation typical of Leptotrichia buccalis. The bacterium is being turned back to its original form by the symbionts of the regulate. Another phenomenon. The symbionts of the regulate break up the chains into individual fragments. By means of regulate therapy, it is thus possible to correct the blood environment. The worm-like pathogenic deformities are transformed back into natural symbionts. As a result, the bacteria disintegrate. It is essential for the healing process that the symbionts of the regulate are accepted by the organism as if they were the body's own. Thus the immune system is activated and strengthened and the internal equilibrium starts to move back towards a healthy state. Homeostasis commences and the healing process takes place. When the disintegration process of the pathogenic bacteria has been completed, the regulate symbionts multiply in an impressive manner and form a diamond-shaped field. Regulates effectively detoxify, immunize and regulate the metabolism. They revitalize the organism, producing order and balance within the human microcosm.